Everybody who takes office in Florida, do you take a vow that you will protect our natural environment, you will uphold our Florida Constitution? You do not say that you will uphold the oil, which is going to own Florida. The physicians called me because of all my work with children four years ago, and they said, we well, really are concerned because the oil company's going to come in and be fracking in and check all these boxes. And this is going to be terrible because they just research they knew what happened in other places. I want you to know now that after three years, we barely defeated the bad um, preemption bill that would prevent local authority and take away home rule and would it allow the injection of trademark secret chemicals. If that doesn't make your hair stand on men, I'd like to know what would the Florida Association of County and Mr. Beach knows this. They've taken a stand against the injection of trademark secret chemicals in Florida. They've taken a stand against the preemption of home life, home rule, which goes against the Constitution. How much more do we have to lose? Mr. Warner, a quarterman, called me and asked me some time ago if I was to use it. I've worked so long in the legislature on this for free. I never, after I lost my son in 1982. I was teaching fine arts at the time. And I, when I was ready to develop my children's programs because I thought what we need is something to really help the kids. The poor kids. You know, the people. It's called environmental justice. When you take rural areas like this and you put the worst things in them. I grew up with environmental injustice. My children in Taylor County grew up with environmental injustice. And what you're looking at here is the same thing in these rural areas where poor people, organic farmers, like a young man I met at this conference and watched with the other day. He's got five children. A big compressor station, one of them, that would push this, this goes at a ferocious speed, this liquid, this big gas, this aggressive gas, you know, it's very hot. It goes at a tremendous pressure. Well, they have to have compressor stations. Those compressor stations can also blow up. And, but they emit terrible carcinogenic chemicals. I got a report the other day from Pennsylvania where they were talking about four chemicals. Those four chemicals, most of them were on that list of chemicals that the ERC, because the governor left those two chairs vacant, <coughs> they were able to shove that through. These are chemicals that are going to be emitted into the air and into the water, and they are going to harm our lives, and they're going to make a bad situation worse. So what we're asking you to do is do what you swore and oath that you would do. 
and not let the sad situation get any worse than it's going to get. And I know that some of you sitting on that board know what environmental justice is. You know you have hard in rural areas. You have to fight like mad. Well, this pipeline, I read yesterday, they allowed them to put thinner pipes. I couldn't believe it. I heard it at the conference, so I went and looked it up. Because of the Halliburton loophole passed by Mr. Cheney, that the oil industry has no regulation. It's exempt from the Clean Water Act, Clean Air Act, the um, emergency, the community right to know how. It's a result <coughs> of all of it. So you're going to let the industry come in here with no rules. We won't get anything from it. The only people who get rich from it are the oil companies. And when if they get, if, if, and right now, Calhoun, they're doing the seismic testing. I think it's about anything if they want to fry. Mm -hmm. They will own this day. They will put a network that, I cannot believe you let them go under our swine river. You let them go under our swine river? Well, you could mess up the apple casino in Georgia. They have lawsuits. And that they won if they couldn't go under the rivers. Why are we doing it in Florida? We depend on our water. Our tourist industry, it's, the, the tourist industry is what makes this state so great. And agriculture, can you imagine the fracking of the agriculture? Can you even imagine? Can't they cultivate in a chair? If you don't study and you don't look at what is happening right now in Florida, to Florida, we're going to lose it all. And by the way, when I lived in Perry, I did see a big pipeline explosion, but it was a very small, it was a, compared to this three foot diameter pipe. Can you imagine? What, we, I mean, if they, I, I saw a huge explosion that happened at the gas plant in Perry, where it annihilated houses and things like that. For well, people, what if you're on this funny river and it blows up? And how do you know if it's leak if you look for bubbles or why? And if cabins under there, where there'd be no support for the pipe. This huge people are being harmed. People are losing their land by imminent rain. I was very worried about it. And I just asked you to write letters to four engineers and say, we don't want to sell out Florida to be more. We don't want to give them everything we can. We don't want to lose the last of what we've got. Because we've lost almost everything. And I thank you so much for serving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.